Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, let me introduce who uh, I have with me, although I'm sure most of them are familiar to you. To my left, we have uh, Adjunct General Anthony German, who is in charge of the New York National Guard, uh, which, as you know, is, is very helpful and instrumental in situations uh, like the emergency we're now facing. Kevin Wisely, who's the Director of the Office of Emergency Management. Veronique Hakem, who is uh, Director of the Metropolitan uh, Transportation Authority. To my right, Patrick Foy, who is in charge of the Port Authority, New York, New Jersey, and Superintendent George Beach, uh, Superintendent of the New York State Police. Uh, we've been preparing for the past couple of days for the storm, the much anticipated storm. Uh, Mother Nature uh, is an unpredictable lady sometimes. She was uh, unpredictable once again today. All the forecasts said the storm would hit New York City and Long Island the heaviest, although it would affect the entire state. We deployed accordingly. So uh, New York City and Long Island have been the focus of our activity. Uh, again, although we have resources all across the state, the way the weather pattern is actually shaping up, the storm has moved more westward. It is less of a snowstorm in New York City and Long Island. It is actually uh, more sleet and precipitation. Uh, that is the good news. The uh, warning is we have to watch the temperature as we go through the day and the night because the sleet and the precipitation could turn into ice and they could make the morning commute uh, more difficult. It's actually easier to move snow than it is to move ice, obviously. Uh, so we're watching the weather. But that is basically good news from what we were expecting. It has been uh, less snowfall than predicted, uh, less disruption. We have uh, no evidence of any coastal flooding along Long Island. We have uh, no evidence of any power outages of any significance, even though we've had high gusts of wind uh, in the entire metropolitan area. So that is all good news. Uh, less good news, when the storm moved left, west, uh, it, it, uh, the, it increased the totals in other parts of the state. Mid-Hudson area up to the Capital District has been hit very hard, 18 to 20 inches. Uh, blizzard conditions are still forecasted for the Mid-Hudson and the Capital District, although the blizzard warning for New York City and Long Island has been lifted. Uh, we're focusing on the Mid-Hudson and the Capital District. The most uh, hard hit part of the state is the Southern Tier, Binghamton, what we call the I-88 corridor that goes up to Albany and central New York. Uh, there we expect blizzard-like conditions up to 30 inches of snow. We've issued a travel ban for all of Broome County and we are currently redeploying assets from New York City and Long Island to central New York and the southern tier. Uh, we have 5,000 uh, pieces of equipment, primarily plows, that have been deployed all across the state. We have about 2,000 National Guard who have been deployed all across the state and will now be shifting those deployments more towards central New York. We had previously announced the tractor-trailer ban on routes 81, 84, 88, 86, and 17 and the New York State Thruway. That will stay in effect. Uh, we announced that the uh, Metro North train service would be suspended at noon because Metro North goes up into the Hudson Valley where we're experiencing significant snowfall. The Long Island Railroad is continuing to operate. Uh, New York City buses are continuing to operate. The subway system is continuing to operate, so that's all good news. Uh, one of the benefits we had in this situation was people actually heard the forecast and they heard the warnings and they stayed home. Schools were closed, businesses were closed, and that actually worked. The lower volume allowed the first responders and the emergency crews to do their job. 
People are staying off the roads, which is smart and which I encourage. Uh, stay inside. View this from through the window. It looks beautiful through the window. Uh, if you step outside, it is not as beautiful. Trust me, I've been there. Uh, so uh, the lower volume actually will allow us to do our job today so the morning commute, uh, we're in better shape. Uh, also, uh, when things are at their worst, New Yorkers are at their best. This is also the time to be a good neighbor. If, uh, you know, you have a senior citizen on your block, you have somebody who's homebound, uh, who lives near you, it's a good idea to knock on their door and say hello and make sure everything is okay. Uh, but the storm in the New York City area is not as bad as anticipated. Um, problem is it is worse than anticipated in other areas of the state. Superstorm Sandy was uh, almost the same thing. Irene, the same thing. It was forecasted to hit New York City. It didn't hit New York City, but it devastated upstate New York. So uh, that's the same type of situation we're looking at now. With that, I will turn it over to Veronique Hakem, who will give an update on the MTA, and then we'll hear from Pat Foy, who will talk to us about the airports. Thank you, Governor. As the Governor noted, many people have heeded his caution to stay off the roads and not travel, so we are seeing significantly reduced ridership this morning, which is a good thing. We have bus service in every borough. We are not running our double articulated buses because they don't do well in the snow and ice, which is the situation we have in the city. Um, but we are meeting all of the demand for bus service. On the subway side, again, service um, in every borough where we run underground subway service, and that continues. The Long Island Railroad is running a regular schedule this morning. Um, we had the benefit of less severe weather out on Long Island, but we're monitoring that situation very closely as well. On Metro North, as the governor noted, because they run north of the city and in areas of higher snow with um, significant wind, we will be curtailing service towards a suspension by noon. Um, the railroads are seeing very significant low ridership, literally 10 to 15 percent of what we would normally see on a weekday. Our plans going forward is to get our service back up and running for a normal AM rush hour tomorrow morning. And I would assure you all that we have 46,000 men and women in the various MTA agencies working hard to create a safe environment for that AM rush tomorrow morning. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. <coughs> Pat Foy from the Port Authority. Thanks, Governor. Uh, at the airports, uh, three points. Uh, one, extensive cancellations at all of them, 99 percent of the flights at LaGuardia. For instance, have been canceled, significant number of cancellations at JFK. We expect that number to grow during the day. Second, check with carriers. Print, uh, you can rebook electronically from home. Print boarding passes at home. If you can do that, please do it. Departing passengers tomorrow and Thursday uh, at LaGuardia and JFK should uh, not go to the airport unless you've got a reservation. We expect heavy uh, vehicular traffic to both uh, uh, LaGuardia and JFK. George Washington Bridge and the three Staten Island bridges, speed restrictions in effect, 35 miles an hour at the GWB, 25 at the Staten Island bridges, very low volume, again, people heeding the directive of the governor. PATH is operating on a normal weekday service, about 5 to 10 percent of uh, normal weekday volume. Thanks, Governor. Thanks. Any questions? We don't have a time frame set for that. We have sweeper trains running right now, and we have men and women out clearing platforms and stairs. But as you know, outside right now, there's a, a sleet condition that we're dealing with as well. Uh, question on Metro North. I know you said that the storm looks like it's hitting hardest in maybe like the Hudson Valley region. Any chance that Metro North trains will go at least through Westchester or parts of southern Connecticut and not go the whole way up? Or that's confusing for our customers. I think we're better off by telling people to get to their stations, check the website for the schedule for the station and the train that they need in order to get home safely. Um, I know you touched upon no flooding reports yet on Long Island, but the National Weather Service is predicting um, moderate to major flooding on the South Shore. Is that a concern? Or has that been a sure. It's always a concern. We've been through it a number of times. Uh, we, are, we are in much better shape 
for flooding post Sandy. A lot of this we've learned the hard way, right? We've had more extreme weather conditions over the past few years uh, than almost uh, any period in history. Uh, Hurricane Sandy taught us a lot, especially taught us a lot about flooding. We've done a, done a lot of resiliency work. We've raised homes. We've built seawalls. Uh, so we are physically better prepared for that situation. But uh, we're also uh, equipped to deal with the damage that may come. We'll keep our fingers crossed. We don't know what the tidal surge is going to be. It's something that Long Island uh, deals with, right? When you live on the water, the good news is you live on the water and you have a beautiful view. The bad news is sometimes there's a storm and then you have to deal with it. But we've seen nothing yet. Obviously, it goes with the tidal cycle uh, and we'll have our fingers crossed, but we have people deployed. We were monitoring the weather as carefully as possible. Um, there was some ambiguity in the forecast very early this morning when we need to make those decisions in the 3, 4 a.m. time frame. So we were responding as quickly as possible. And look, you want to keep it open as long as possible, right? Uh, you want it to operate as long as it can operate safely. Because as the other question suggested, uh, some people are, need to get somewhere. And Metro North is better than them being on the roads. Uh, so keep it open as long as you can, but don't put people in danger, and that's noon. And then give people notice so they can change their plans, and that's the noon closing. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.